My one co-host has had enough of my antics. She has up and left. One remains. There she goes, up this up the stairs. <laughs>
We're going to talk about this in a second. All right. So here's what's going on. Louis sent out a text message, wants to have a pizza party. He invited Teresa and her girls, Joe, Melissa, and their kids. Melania doesn't want to go because her feelings are hurt because of the things that Joe Gorga has said about, you know, Melania and Gia's dad, Joe Judice. Here's my thoughts about it, all right? I don't think it's right that Joe Gorga is running around bashing the girl's father. I don't think it's right. Now, if you don't like the guy, fine. You don't have to like Joe Judice, all right? Joe Gorga doesn't need to like Joe Judice, but he can't go out and about making public appearances, bashing and joking and creating all this drama about Joe Judice. It's not right. I am firmly on Team Gia, Team Melania. I understand why they're upset. They have every right to be upset. And I don't think it's right that Joe Gorga is running around playing the victim because he's not. He knew exactly what he was doing when he said the things that he said about Joe Judice. It's not right. Gia is totally the freaking voice of reason in this family. Oh, we have a freaking confessional from Gia Judice. She has grew up right before our very eyes. That's exactly what I'm saying. You guys gonna just come to a happy medium? You know, be like, all right, let's, let's just let this end, right? Yeah. All right, so here's what's going on so far. Let's talk about my thoughts while we're in a commercial break. Trying to mute my TV is difficult. So we had the scene with Dolores and her kids and the renovations. Frank Sr. has dropped the ball. The house isn't done. Frank Sr. is moving back into the house. So Dolores' kids have not lived with Frank basically ever. So this is going to be like the first time. So Dolores' daughter wants to set ground rules. No girls over. So this whole renovation thing is putting a huge point of contention in the family. All right? It is. So they need to set ground rules. They need to set boundaries. Blah, blah, blah. I love the dynamic with Dolores and her kids. Jackie's kids, they are going away to sleepaway camp. Um, Melania has issues with Joe Gorga. Gia Judice is doing a sweatshirt line for waking up in the morning, laying a lot of groundwork for a lot of storylines. The issues between Joe Gorga and Joe Judice, I am team Teresa's girls. Joe Gorga should not have said what he said about Joe Judice. You don't have to like the guy, but you know what? You do gotta shut up. You can't just go around and say whatever you wanna say sometimes, you know? And then be so shocked when it's like, oh my God, they think I'm the bad guy. Well, yeah, you are the bad guy because you're going around bashing the freaking father. And then you're wondering like, oh my God, why are they still mad at me? They're mad at you because you're an asshole to their dad. Done and done. Done and done. Now we're gonna have a boys night. All the husbands are getting together. Give the husbands a spin-off show now. And the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City husbands only wish they could be half of what the Jersey husbands are. There, I said it! Frank and his green apple martinis gives me freaking life. That freaking green apple martini, that little teensy tiny drink with that big ass man. <laughs> Sometimes Joe Gorga talks about sex way too much. Is he really having that much sex? I'm just saying, I don't think he is. Trouble in Paradise with Dolores and David. We'll discuss it later on in the episode. 
So, here's what. Apparently, Bill is not doing well with this affair bomb being dropped. I think he's a little embarrassed. I don't think they wanted to talk about it. They resolved it on their own. And Marge basically dropped that nuke, which I understand why she did it. I understand why she did it, and we'll talk about it a little later. I understand why she did it, okay? I do. So all the husbands have reached out to Bill to ask how he's doing. Marge's husband did not. He didn't feel it was appropriate, which, I mean, it's not, because your wife, the Marge, is the one that started all of this. So I understand why Joe Belignagno did not reach out to Bill. Well, no shit she got offended by it. You talked about her dad. So they're all talking about the Louie video. We discussed it in my last review. All right. So this scene with Jackie and her husband, Evan, is very, very emotional. And we're going to, I'm going to watch the scene and then we're going to talk about it. So they're ordering. And Evan is getting some sort of crab, like a crab meat something, and asks if Jackie's going to eat. And she said, no, it's early. It's 5 o'clock. Now, we all know Jackie has struggled with an eating disorder. Stay with me. Jackie is so freaking, like, real and, like, regular. She was a sorority girl. Evan was a frat boy. They went to college. They went to frat parties. Kegs. So Jackie and Evan, they're going to host a frat college party-esque with keggers and ice luges and a rager. Woo! So Jackie is struggling with her eating disorder again, and what she went through last year has triggered all of that back up. She lost weight. So they went for an early dinner so Jackie could get out of eating. All of these things that she's dealt with in the past have sort of reared their ugly head. And she's having to re face all of that stuff. And this scene was just, it's really brave for her to talk about all of this. I have a newfound respect for Jackie, whether or not you want to, you know, hate on her or whatever. Like what she is going through is very, very serious. And the fact that she's willing to talk about it on national television, on a national platform is, is brave. So her eating, she said, is very ritual. It's the same thing over and over and over again because it's habit and it's routine and she eats what makes her comfortable and it's a lot of salads. And now her kids are noticing. And that's not good because you don't want to pass that down to your kids. I think her eating issues are much deeper than what she led let on, and I think she's dealt with it on her own, 
and I think it's now gotten out of control, and she needs to go see someone. Eating disorders are real, and they can come back at any time. And I think that Jackie talking about this and realizing what she's going through is very brave. So Jackie and Jennifer are having a conversation about what happened at Dolores' house. So this is where a lot of the issues start. So Jackie told Jennifer that she doesn't think that Dolores is being the friend that Jennifer needs right now. And little does Jackie know that Jennifer is going to bring it up. So here's the thing. So Jackie is becoming very close with Jennifer, which I give kudos to Jackie for being the much bigger person in this scenario because Jennifer was nasty last season to everybody. She made snide remarks about Marge's infidelities and cheating and being a slut and slut shaming and just dragging everybody through the mud. We also found out last week that Jennifer called up people that she knew trying to find out if this rumor of Evan cheating was true and trying to continue to breathe life into it. And Jackie is still being friends with her. Now, here's the thing. Do I feel bad for Jennifer? Yes. I feel bad for Jennifer. I feel bad that this was brought up. I feel bad that she's going to have to explain this to her kids. I feel bad. But those in glass houses probably should not throw stones. And Jennifer should be damn lucky that Jackie is being such a good friend to Jennifer right now because Jackie doesn't need to at all. Jennifer is a hypocrite. And the fact that she can't see that is mind-blowing to me. That's my two cents. She said it was pure curiosity that she looked into the rumor. <sighs> it's not. I think Jennifer is the snake. Jackie is being the bigger person here, for sure. All right, so it's now the night of the pizza party at Louie's house. Everyone is arriving. I still, verdict is still out about Louie. Surface level, he seems like a nice guy. He seems very family oriented. You know what? If Teresa's happy, I'm happy. He seems very family oriented. He's nice to her kids. Pineapples freaking everywhere. Of course. So Louis journals positive affirmations. Louis knows that I'm nervous because Melania did agree to come tonight, and I don't know how she's going to react. Spiritual cleansing. He's basically dating Dina. No wonder she's so happy. Louis is the male version of Dina. You know, maybe people can change. Maybe people can change, right? People can change. I'm going to give Louis the benefit of the doubt, all right? People can change. People can learn from their mistakes and move on. That's right. Every family does communicate very differently. My family, we're like, go fuck yourself. Oh, I scared the animals. That's what my family does. We're like, go fuck you. You're an asshole. And then we kiss and make up. I'm sorry. I scared the animals. My family's very heated. We scream and yell and move on. We love big. We hate big. We scream big. I'm not Italian, but we're we're all about that shit. <laughs> Now my furbo is going to think I'm laughing or barking. Every time I laugh, my furbo thinks I'm barking. It's a freaking treat.
Good for Teresa's kids for being the bigger people here. Seriously. Here's the thing. So, everyone is all bent out of shape because Teresa feels that everybody is, you know, siding with Marge and nobody has Jennifer's back. But last year, everybody ran to side with Jackie. Here's the thing. Teresa started a rumor about freaking Jackie's marriage. Like, it wasn't even true. And did it at Jackie's birthday party. And Teresa still can't see that maybe I shouldn't have done that and I was in the wrong. Teresa, to this day, still does not see anything wrong with what she did. She just keeps saying, it was a rumor. It was a rumor. Okay, I get it. But Jennifer continues to throw dagger after dagger after dagger about everybody, especially Marge. Like, slut shames her, makes Ale makes these little snide comments about her sluttiness and cheating and broken marriages and just calling um, Melissa and Joe crooks. She does all this stuff, but then when something comes out about her, it's like, oh my god. How dare you? It's very much hypocritical. And I think Jennifer better count her lucky stars that Jackie is so understanding and wants to be there for her. I'm just saying. Whose side am I on? Nobody. Because I think Marge and Jennifer have both done equally nasty things last year and this year. That it's just comparing apples to oranges at this point. It is. But with the rumor, I don't... Teresa was in the wrong. Teresa was in the freaking wrong. So they're playing a game. They're going to go around. They're going to write down one thing they want to let into their life. Let more of into their life. And on the other piece of paper, they're going to write something they want to get rid of. Get, get out of their life. Share with everyone what you're writing. A healing game, if you will. So they're not going to write it, they're going to talk about it. <laughs> it's like they're speaking two different languages. Teresa will never admit faults. <laughs> so Joe just said, family shouldn't hold any grudges. It's so stupid. But you said some nasty stuff about Teresa's kid's father. Yeah, they have a little bit of a grudge. I need you to understand that, Joe Gorga. But it doesn't. That doesn't. <sighs> he wants it just to go away. Talk about it, go let it go away. But you said some nasty stuff. It doesn't just poof go away. Like <sighs> Joe Gorka is just like Teresa. It's very clear that they are brother and sister. I mean, I have like a lot of things that I could say right now. <laughs> Milani is gonna drop a nuke, bitch. Which is great, but it's gonna take Sorry, hi. Whose side are you on? Nobody's fair. That's fair. What do you have to say to the people? Gia Judice should do a remake of Waking Up in the Morning. Do a whole song. Make it a bop. I really wish that this family could get along. Seriously. She grew up, Melania grew up in a lot of turmoil. She had seen a lot of fighting, a lot of animosity. I think she just wants it all to be fine. She wants all the shit to stop. Can you blame her? I think Joe Gorga needs to learn to, like, shut up. Yes. I think Joe Gorga finally got it. He's been hanging on to all of this anger, and he can't let it go. He needs to break free. Break free, Joe Gorga, break free! Well, that was productive.
It didn't end in a huge fight. Maybe my tune is changing about Louis. I may like him. There, I said it. So it's the night of the big keg party. My one co-host has had enough of my antics. She has up and left. One remains. There she goes, up the, up the stairs. She has decided to vacate. Bye. She's done with Jersey. So everyone's getting ready for the keg party. Drama is just around the river bend. Beyond the shore. Oh, Melissa is inviting everybody to the shore house. You know, shit never goes good in the shore. Nothing ends well. So Jennifer is nervous about attending. So Tracy, it looks like, is team Jennifer. Yeah, but the same thing happened to Jackie. And this isn't a rumor. This actually happened. Jackie's was a rumor. Teresa started a rumor and spread lies. Bill actually cheated on Jennifer. It's not the same thing. I do feel for her, though. I do feel for what she is going through. But, like I said before, those in glass houses should not be throwing stones. Like, if you had those skeletons in your closet, why would you throw? And she didn't throw stones. Jennifer threw boulders at people. And here she was having all this stuff shoved on, under her rug. Bodies in her closet. The, I don't need this, this, this. It's coming. We're going to get Patterson, Dolores, honey. I'm excited. All right, so everyone is attending and getting, going to the venue. The venue looks a little basic, though. We got a kegger. We've got beer pong. We've got the whole shebang. And everyone's dressed very casually, very college. College frat. Jackie, I do hope you eat, though. Please. And I mean that in a very endearing way. I do hope you eat. I've been there. Where it's like, I'm not going to eat anything because I just want to get a good buzz on. Part of the reason why I'm sober. That spread looks so freaking good. Like, classic bar food. Wings, burgers. Yum. Here comes Dolores. Patterson Dolores. Oh my god. So Evan still is not getting BJ's and he said he's doing a lot of yoga and he can practically almost do it himself. Sir. Sir. So apparently Dolores is the hall pass for Joe Balignogno. The look on Marge's face though, she did not look amused. So they're all talking about Joe. Where's my pauser? Where's my clicker? I sound like an 80 year old man. All right. They're talking about Joe Gorga's penis being very large. Joe talks about his penis all the time and how humongous it is. So they said Dolores knows how big it is. Marge said that. Marge said that. So now Melissa thinks that Dolores had sex with Joe Gorga. And that's how she knows how big his penis is. Oh, God. Why would you say that, Marge? You know Melissa is a jealous Jane. So now Melissa is confronting Joe about this. Like, did you have sex with Dolores? That is false. That did not happen. That didn't happen. Joe Gorga is obsessed with his penis. Is it really that big? I'm going to say no. Why would you be bragging about your big old penis all the time trying to overcompensate? Marge is being a little cold. 
So they're all talking about Jennifer coming, and she better not come in here crying. And Tracy's like, she's allowed to cry, she's hurt. And Marge is all, how, what is the time limit on crying? You're 44, what is the time limit on crying? <sighs> I feel bad for Jennifer. Mainly because she's going to have to explain this to her kids. She didn't tell anyone about any of this, so now it's all coming, coming out. She did shock her. I really do think we're comparing apples to oranges right now. All right, here comes freaking Jennifer. All right, so Jackie is going over to Jennifer. They are hugging. Okay. All is calm so far. Tracy going over. Okay, two people having her back. All right. So Dolores just mentioned that her and David are no longer together. I mean, are any of us really shocked? I am not. He couldn't give her what she needed. They barely spend any time together. So the fact that they're no longer together isn't like some shocking revelation. Now, rumor has it. Here's a rumor. I saw it on Instagram. David's new girlfriend is Louis's ex-girlfriend. What? Let that just marinate. Yeah, I'm not shocked about any of this. Like, Dolores was so chill about this whole thing. Maybe that's why Dolores is being so cold to Jennifer. She's dealing with her own shit. Her freaking ice luge is a pineapple. Paying homage to Teresa because Teresa isn't here. The pineapple is Teresa. The pineapple is here in Teresa's honor. <laughs> I'm dying. Can the pineapple, can Dole sponsor the Real Housewives of New Jersey? Because there's pineapples everywhere. Teresa, if you're watching, want to do a remake of the Dole Whip video with me? Hit me up. Hit me up on Insta, girlfriend. All right, here we go. This is it. Here's where it turns and goes south. So... Jennifer looks at Dolores and says, I don't know if you're better friends with me or Marge. And Dolores says, I'm friends with both of you. And then Jennifer says that Jackie told her that Dolores isn't the friend that she needs right now. Jennifer is a little bit of a snake. Why would she tell Dolores this? Why? To benefit what? To start a war. It's just shitty. Jackie is trying to be your friend, Jennifer, and you throw her right under the damn bus. What good is going to come out of this? Now Dolores is pissed. That is true. Jennifer has done nasty things to Jackie, and Jackie is still having her back. And I think Jennifer just threw her right under the damn bus like nothing. Like she's dog meat. Yeah. And now here comes Marge. So Dolores looks at Marge and says... The problem here is that this one thinks that I'm both you and Jennifer's friends. She doesn't think that I'm both of your friends. She doesn't think I'm both of your friends. And then Marge says, well, you're more of my friend. It's just so fucking like high school. Oh, fine, then I'll work on that. Oh, did it work? I don't want to hear from this. And then Jackie's all, what do you call it? I don't want to do this. This. Ah! 
Oh my. Oh, we got a to be continued episode, gang. We got a to be continued episode. What are you going to do about it, Jackie? What are you going to do about it? This was a good episode. This was a good episode. I'm I'm really enjoying this season. It's giving me giving me life. What do you guys think about this new my new little concept of the reviews. I feel like I'm doing the people's couch right now. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about the episode. Let me know what you think about this season of The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Are you loving it? Are you hating it? Whose side are you on? Jennifer or everybody else? That's all I've got for you guys today. Guess subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any Bravo content. I will chat with you guys next time. Bye.